Android 15 is already here and we are here to almost a stability kind of things. The major visual changes are already there and I made a video already on the beta updates like developer preview, public beta and a lot more. If you have missed all of those videos in this video, I am going to share with you five most interesting features available in the latest Android 15. So let's get quickly started to the things like one of the major things which you are definitely going to love is the screen recording changes. We now have the support for the single app screen recording and how this is helpful. If you click OK, then you can choose the app where you want to record a screen. For example, in this case, I'm going to choose Google Play Store. So whatever I will do in this app in Google Play Store that will be recorded and that will disable the status bar by the way and also if i switch to any other app for example now i'm at home screen if i want to browse anything else anything will not be recorded at all because we just choose on google play store so now i just came back to google play store once again i'm doing everything and from this one let me just disable or we have to stop screen recording once to show you after recording stopped let me show you the screen recording what's happened so far as you can see, this is how the screen recording is going on and only this individual app is recorded. As you can see, no status bar, no navigation bar, nothing, just the screen recording of this app. And now after this one, I, I just switched to the home screen, etc. Nothing is recorded in this case. So that is one of the most interesting and one of the most useful features available in the latest Android 15. You have to check, you have to check it out for sure. Second one, second visual change which I found is just in the recent latest Standard 15 Beta 2 is the volume panel. Now it's finally fully revamped. Uh, there, it's been some time since the volume panel being redesigned. So yes, this could be a new thing. Of course, we have mixed feelings about it. Some of you might love this thing. Some of you might not. This could be user specific, but in my personal opinion, I personally love this thing a lot because the volume panel was kind of okay, okay. Uh, we had to use some third party apps to change the volume panel designs. We already had some options there, but by default, this volume panel is looking so good with all the animations. Uh, yes, UI is now changed here and you will notice this thing with the latest Android 15 stable too. Next thing which we have here is the private space. This is also introduced with the latest standard 15's beta 2. Most of the features were actually introduced with beta 2. And if you did not watch out my video on Android 15 beta 2 changes, check out the video already. But this is for those because these five features are actually visually, you can you will see the impact, visual impact on your device after using these things. So this is what we have. As you can see, if I move on here to the private space options, you will notice that we have some options available there. If I lock this private space, I do not have any options available there i will search for this private space and then then i will be able to open this thing yesterday when i made or basically two days ago when i made video on android 15 beta 2 changes that was a quick overview private space has some extra options too for example you have the lock private space automatically option available same thing like lock screen timeout feature available in the settings we also have the option for hiding the private space when it's locked and i've enabled this thing so if you enable this thing so when Whenever you lock your private space that will not be listed anywhere you have to search for it to find it so this is actually really useful if you're concerned about privacy of course you can delete the privacy space private space and that is one of the main highlights of the latest android 15 update next one is app pair or you can say app archive sorry for that app archive is of course quite useful there app archive is something like for example if i just archive this app right now which is named as backdrop so the space or you can say this is for the users who have low storage on their devices so just app is archived if i want to enable this app once again it will simply download Download it from google play store after one click it will download it again from the google play store because that is archived so which means we have app data already included we do not have to install app data you do not have to set up it again and again and that is really useful it was already available in the google play store by the way in case you don't know if you are using any other older version you will find these things in the google play store app already there but now it's the part of system so that is quite useful that's something really impressive as you can see now it's done and after just restoring this app we have all the data available there last but not the least which is of course latest in, in, in addition to android 15 is app pairs so for example we have split screen available with backdrops and google play store now i can save this as a pair so whenever i click on that icon 
I will be able to use these two both apps at the same time in split screen and I do not have to do the same process again and again choose one app and click on split screen etc so that is really useful so basically some useful features are included and the main five major changes which I just wanted to let you know I have already shared with you there were already a lot of changes available there but some of you might not impact your daily life so that's why I've just not listed them also some of the features now missing from the latest update like notification cooldown feature is not there audio sharing is not there let's see how the things will come up thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one take care